Seems like the world just can't get any crazier. I know, right? We're in the middle of a pandemic and now we have rocks coming and falling on us and creating booms. <laughs> Nothing to quell our collective anxieties like space debris. Creating a sonic boom so loud that it wakes up Twitter. Where this was like a really low like boom. Jenny Morber says she heard the sound from Bainbridge Island. Toby Logston from his home in Linwood. Okay, it sounded like a gas line exploded or something like that. Don't believe them? We'll take a look at this video from Scott Story, captured from a camera on his porch in Briar. In the upper left-hand corner, you'll see the street go by. Um, the audio is actually uh, three minutes later, the boom. Turns out the American Meteor Society, a national nonprofit, tracks these events. A spokesperson says this was likely a random event unrelated to a meteor shower that's currently lighting up the sky around the world. Well, I figured it was around 200,000 feet if it's three minutes, but I'm no expert. As for altitude, experts at AMS say it was likely some 30 miles in the sky on the upper cusp of the stratosphere, well out of range of commercial air traffic, but close enough to be seen and heard. That sound right there, a sonic boom as the debris hits a speed of more than 760 miles per hour. I went on to my um, home security cameras and and just watched it for a few minutes, and sure enough, it was plain as day. According to experts, hearing a meteor is extremely rare. Roughly one in 400 sightings include a report of sound. Catching it on video, well, that's a whole different story. Despite many reports of the boom on social media, the American Meteor Society says it only received 12 reports to its website, adding that's not enough to accurately gauge the trajectory. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.